Hello my loves, welcome back to the channel, Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel, Hey, hey. <laughs> we into 2021, you heard me, okay, we're finally here, like, oh my gosh, 2020 is over, and 2021 is looking, yeah, we're just gonna hope that it gets better from here, okay, <laughs> that's all we can really hope, so, I thought I would come 2021 with heat. I got like so many videos aligned just this week alone. And um, my other ones I'm filming tomorrow, which is gonna be a try on haul from different boutiques and places that I've been loving lately. And also it's gonna be on this marvelous um, skin routine or whatever that you see right here. Like look at my skin, doesn't it just look so healthy? Like giving me like no makeup makeup look. And that's all from the Fenty powders, their new pro filter powders. Oh my God, y'all, this full face is just powder. So new um, new routine coming up because y'all deserve like a normal type of look for me. But today is not about normal. Y'all know what today is about. Okay, hold on. This is what today is about. It's finally that time. We're going to speak all about my palette, the Beat Down palette, my collab palette with Playing and Makeup by Yolando. Um, this is it, baby. Like, I have not touched another palette <laughs> literally since I got this palette, so September. <laughs> and literally like, it's just that all around palette that you could do every and anything with, you feel me? Um, obviously I'm a color type of girl, but I did include different shades for different types of peeps. So I feel like this is an all around palette. You can make that judgment by the end of this video. We're gonna get into some swatching. We're gonna get into like this whole look or whatever. I'm just doing my eyes today. Um, just to cut down on time, I want to talk to y'all about the palette. I want to really go over all the things I love about it and all the things I thought about when um, creating this color scheme and choosing colors and all that jazz. So yeah, without further ado, guys, let's get right on into the video. So what I'm actually going to do is show you what you're, you would be getting if you purchase this palette. By the way, for everybody who has got the palette and it has it in their hands right now, I want y'all to go get it out. We're going to go through this together. Like, we're going to, like, you get your palette while I got my palette in hand. You feel me? Like, let's let's do this together or whatever, sis. And the ones who are, like, skeptical or looking like, oh, I can't get it right now, whatever the situation is, I want to see first her talk in depth about the palette. Well, this is the video, baby. Like, this is going to be the one that makes you get the palette, period. Okay? you know what i'm saying so after purchasing the palette and it coming to you by the way you can get it on playing and makeup by yolando's website not my business page okay y'all y'all keep coming to my i'm like it's kind of confusing but it's a beats by deb collab with playing and makeup by yolando it's not beats by deb cosmetics so it's not my site it's her site you know so yeah um the link will be in the description if you were confused on where to get it from but when it comes to you it'll look like this so nice and bow wrapped up for you. We don't want no palettes to become broken or anything like that. It does come with a box on it. And I just love that because the picture is just so beautiful. Like, can we get into the packaging? When she showed me like, okay, you know, like, what do you want to do on the outside? I'm like, we got to do something with color. You know what I'm saying? Like, color has to be on the packaging. Like, you know what I'm saying? And she also was like, when I say she, I mean, um, playing and makeup by Yolando. We were, when we were speaking about the collab and all that, she was like, you know, like, you need a picture. Like, you should do a picture on the front. I'm like, ooh, like, what should we do? You feel know I me? Mean? And I'm like, this look in particular, I had loved, okay? And anybody knows, if y'all watch my YouTube, Instagram, whatever, I love me some playing and makeup by Yolando eyeshadows. Like, I'm sorry, I cannot, I cannot make this up. Them boys is so buttery and creamy, better than it. I can't even say the names, but you know who I'm talking about. Any of the makeup palettes that y'all love so much out of store, baby, this is it. Black owned business, like, and she's killing the game, period, okay? I can't even make it up. Like, anybody who's bought from her, they know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I literally have all her palettes. Like, I just, when she came to me for a collab, I said, it's my time to shine. Like, yes please pink purple blue um fade and blend going because i'm just reminding y'all like y'all see the blend like y'all can get inspiration just from the packaging alone you feel me so and i did choose this picture because i used one of her palettes to create this look and that's when i really fell in love with the eyeshadow that she creates so i was like that pretty much brings you know like brings it all together basically like the beat down i chose that name because i was just like i need something to remind everybody like it's me you feel me like and when people think Beats by Deb, they think Deb is a beat. Like that baby, 
her makeup plays no games. She is beat to the gods, okay? And the beat down, like, you about to beat yourself down with this palette, baby. You're going to be looking like <laughs> a whole new person, okay? Do you hear me? Like, no games are being played. And as you can see, look at that second layer of bubble wrap. Like, she said, uh, nobody is going to be having trouble with the palette. You feel me? Like, no, we need the palette intact, okay? So same picture, same setup, cute little font, the beat down eyeshadow palette. Y'all know what's up. And as soon as you open her up, you get this. So a full-sized mirror, beautiful mirror. I love the size of it. So even if you're doing your look, you could literally just be looking right in the palette as you do your makeup, which I love. Big mirror. And then we have a piece of film over the mirror to separate this through from the eyeshadow just to make sure that it's nice and crisp. You don't want the mirror touching your shadow. And as you can see, like, just look at the colors. Like, please. Take a second, baby. Like, I mean, look at it. Uh, color scheme took me so many tries, so many so long just for me to know like okay this is how i want the colors to go like you know as you can see i have this last row nice and neutral i wanted people to know like i'm not just trying to throw my neutral colors away my dark shade my light shade my shimmers i wanted shimmers in this palette just because like yolanda was explaining to me like you got to think about it like every makeup artist not just you so you know me i'm like uh i like shimmers but I'd rather use loose glitter, but a lot of people love shimmer shadows. And I'll be forgetting that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be forgetting about that. And so, um, I wanted to include them for the people who actually love using shimmers and, and incorporating them in their looks. Want to pop some in their corner even. Not even, like, they're like, I mean, I want some just in case I want to use it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I actually like using shimmers under glitter. And I did that in my first look that where I used this palette on my YouTube channel. I did use my shimmers and I love them. They are so creamy and buttery. Just everything about the shadow, it just go. You feel me? A few browns, like just something where you could do something with it if you wanted to go neutral. But I wanted them to be deep enough for a whole range of skin tones. Um, but I wanted this palette to mostly involve color because y'all know me. Like it wouldn't be a Beast by the palette if color was not involved like and when I say color I mean Roy G Biv I mean the rainbow you feel me like that's what I thought of when I thought what what do I want my palette to look like the rainbow that's what I want my palette to look like so that's exactly what I did as you can see we got greens we got yellows and oranges we got pinks and purples and we got blues you know what I mean like it just had to happen um I pretty much literally did like Roy G Biv like that was the the whole consensus of it um i obviously had to had to throw in a white a black a deep brown a brown and then like more of a red brown just to do i felt like i needed i needed that neutral to hit you know what i'm saying i mean i really hate when palettes don't include white and black like i don't know what it is but i just be like there's no black in this palette like i need a black you know what i'm saying like i at least need one black and i at least need one white like i just need them you know what i mean um, so yeah, and then I have obviously a gold shimmer, a white shimmer, we got the rose gold type of shimmer, we got the silver shimmer, we got a bronze, we got a red, pink, blue, green, blue, purple. So it was like every matte shade, I wanted a shimmer to match basically. So if you wanted to do like mattes and shimmers, you had that option. Me choosing the colors mostly was just like, I wanted every color to be involved. Obviously you could only, I only could choose 30. So it was like down to my last like five and I was like what do I want to really include you know what I mean it, it got hard but after a while I did a few switching around and I was like yeah that's that's the way I want it and it, it came out beautifully then as far as the names go we're also asking about names like okay what inspired you with the names and I kid you not I sat down with my twin brother if you didn't know I have a twin brother um we sat down together and he actually helps me with my business quite a bit he literally works for me he's such a big help and I go to him when I need stuff like that. So we sat down together and we chose every single name for my colors. He helps me choose all the names for my business. Like, he literally is such a help. So we sat down and we chose the names. Like, we were like, okay, we're going to do this. And half of these names, if you don't watch the anime, you probably wouldn't know. <laughs> but I'm a big um, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z fan. I've really been getting back into anime recently because of my boyfriend. But, but yeah, uh... <laughs> 
I'm not used to saying boyfriend yet. But I'm really getting back into it because of him. And um, it's been so fun. Like, I, I feel like there's an anime out there for every type of person. But, you know, that's just me or whatever. So, um, when choosing the colors, like, we were just thinking of, like, things that the color reminded us of. That was, like, the whole thing. Like, I have the color, the white shade in here is called Leilani. That's the color of my car. This year, I remember right before I started my business um, on my 21st birthday, March 12th, I opened my business. I remember literally spending the last little bit of money I had on food um, for that event that I had. And that was before COVID even hit or anything like, ooh, should I not say that word? Basically, I didn't know what my business would do basically and it ended up taking off to the point that I could buy a car literally that next month and I just remember thanking God like wow like you got me here which was just crazy and so um yeah I named my car Leilani it's a white chelly period poo I had to get a chelly or whatever my mom said I couldn't get this scat but it's okay like I got me a chelly so I was happy you feel me but yeah <laughs> So I got me a Chally and she's white and I named her Leilani. So I thought like that white shadow had to be called Leilani. Like you feel me? Like stuff like that. Just little backgrounds behind every color. Um, the black shade is called black owned because. Duh, you feel me? Um, like, and then there's just like ones that we were like, okay, like what is this really about? I can't really think of anything like tangerine tings, like just a cute little ring to it. Like my, my, my twin brother, Manny, he was like, yeah, uh, tangerine things. I was like, that's the one. Like, you feel me? Like, <laughs> it was just cute, you know? So yeah, like most of them have a background though. Frieza, um, Gogeta, um, Cell. Those are all from Dragon Ball Z. So, yes. And then, like, I have skin as the brown shade because Coco Brown, baby, period. Um, Snickers as the deeper brown shade um, because I had a bunny for about eight years and his name was Snickers. He was so beautiful. I literally loved him so much. Um, and I just wanted to give some type of recognition towards him. So, I had to have him in my palette. Also, the deep, deep brown shade is called king um my german shepherd i actually have another puppy german shepherd puppy his name is prince um i have got him after this though so i'll probably name something after him soon <laughs> but king is also in here because that's my baby he's nine years old as well so yes um i had to put him in here red just reminds me of love so love of my life um i had to have cosmetology in here because of the whole story behind me getting my license and all of that like i wanted to put that in somehow incorporate that in there um the shade under cosmetology called clara that shimmer shade um i really wanted to incorporate her as well because i had this bear when i was younger um that my mom got me and she actually ended up i was so attached to it y'all and she actually ended up washing it and i don't know if y'all like ever had a stuffed animal that y'all loved and somebody washed it and then it, it like got all shriveled up and gross like i was so mad but i still loved it i still my mom like she was like it's so gross like i have to wash it because i took it everywhere y'all and so like i couldn't be mad at her because i was just like whatever like as long as she's still alive like it's fine <laughs> like i still love stuffed animals to this day so yeah um and then like the silver and the gold are cuban link and billionaire like come on like it just it describes itself you feel me but yeah um i love slow and reverbs music me and my twin brother both do so i thought i wanted to pay some um some sort of homage to that as well um lucid dreams it just oh it gives me that deep blue like that literally that's such a that's such a beautiful color um i also love the color legend blues so um i love i'm actually a sneakerhead like i've finally been getting my j's back in order you feel me bought my shoes and stuff you feel me so i got me some legend blues finally um which if you don't know those are a pair of 11 jordan 11s so that's my favorite pair of jordans ever so i had to put that in there and the soles are icy blue that's why i chose this beautiful shimmer shade i wanted to recognize my twin um because i just always have to throw him in there like that's my baby so that's my best friend um and so, yeah, I had to throw him in there. He's up in the corner as this beautiful shimmer, um, shimmer brown shade, this, this like bronze shade. Um, it kind of matches his skin, you feel me? So he's up there in the corner and then golden hour had to be the yellow because everybody knows golden hour hits 
without golden hour like i wouldn't have got to where i am now <laughs> like i can't depend on the sun anymore only because the way michigan is set up i just it makes me want to fight but it's okay at one point i will be in a sunny location where i'll be able to use the sun more you feel me but do it I haven't filmed like using sun in so long. Like that's all I used to do. I have to. I used to have to wait until golden hour. I would literally run outside of like no shoes, like running to get a picture before the sun went down. Like man, I'm so glad ring lights are a thing. Like wow. <laughs> enough talking baby let's get into this eye look all right so i'm gonna just reapply a little bit my eyeshadow base and with this palette i do recommend using um some type of base you don't you can use concealer but i always recommend with if you want your eyeshadows to pop the same color they are in the pan on your eyelids i definitely recommend using eyeshadow base like i want my shadow to pop like theirs like my favorite beauty guru and it wasn't and i was like eyeshadow base like I would go to P. Louise Page like, oh my God, don't play with me. Like, I need that. You know what I mean? The thing about eyeshadow bases, it's a thicker consistency than concealer. And that's the part that like, you're not going to mix this color with the with the shadow um, because the consistency is so thick. It just sits right on top of the base. But with concealer, it kind of like mixes together. So that's how I feel like the difference is the consistency is just so different you like that you need that thick type of base so I'm actually inspired by this beautiful MUA Nicole Marie MUA on IG I will link this um look down in my description she killed this look I really was like okay I love the color scheme that she did mine is gonna be quite different from hers but I just saw it and I thought that like I should give her a little bit of credit baby because she did that um i really like the way her she put the liner like right above the cut crease and that's what i'm gonna be doing my cut crease is gonna be yellow today like i wanted to do a little bit of yellow you feel me so yeah um we're gonna definitely do these same colors though on the the blend so i'm gonna go from green to blue to purple into like a pinkish orange on the outer um i don't know if I, I might blow it out like crazy like i don't know yet you can follow along if you have the palette so let's get into creating this look or whatever so you guys i did um get inspired by the picture i showed you guys earlier um so i'm doing the same type of blend here um i'm going from green to blue to purple i start um, most of my looks off if you don't know by just packing on the shadows that i know i want to be incorporated the most then going back um and blending those together and blending upwards towards my brow you can do this any type of way you want but i find this the easiest um way it works for me um just to lay a foundation down before blending other colors on top and like as you can see i blended a little bit of yellow over the green i blended a little bit of pink over the purple into like a orange blowout type of thing um, before I started cutting my crease and um, to cut my crease I did use my acid rain base this is in the shade blank canvas and my uh, morphe 224 brush my fave now um i do recommend blending your base out uh which i should have did more on this look but i was like it was so late y'all trying to get this look um to you guys but i vigorously dipped into this shade um golden hour um just a beautiful yellow shade and i just packed that right onto the lid with a flat brush just pigment 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 y'all like definitely that popped this cut crease for show then i took those colors and i kind of just blended them right back um in the same order but like the opposite way back onto this um cut crease part and i didn't make it too neat just because i knew i was going to be using liner on top of the cut crease um using my water activated eyeliner this is the 12 piece eyeliner set on my website be sped up cosmetics if you want it you can go and shop it is in stock for anyone wondering um i use this shade pinky promise which you could buy separately if you want it um just a heads up and i'm using my detailed eyeliner brush uh also on my website beats by Dev cosmetics 
as you can see i did do a layer of clear eyelash glue before i added my liner just because it makes it super precise it goes and shows right uh where i want to put the liner i didn't you do that technique for the dots just because i mean it was it was just free balling it like i didn't really know exactly how i wanted it but i knew exactly where i wanted that liner to sit and that's why i did that layer first Now that this blend is looking impeccable, okay? The eyeliner had to happen. The blend had to happen. You feel what I'm saying? Like, period. Um, <laughs> We can do the lashes. So I am using the Lash Vault, which is also my cousin's lash line. I'm so, so, so proud of her. And she was so nice enough to actually name one of these pairs of lashes after me. One is called Deb. And I love her, period. Is this wispy gal right here first of all look at the packaging it's giving very much rich very much money very much billionaire like as i aspire to be period <laughs> as we aspire to be okay lauren shout out to you low you did that because the lashes look bomb i love the packaging it's so cute it has this little knob which i love you could just slide it right out and bam you got a little mascara wand that comes with it so if you want to shop baby the link is in my description you already know what to do okay so i'm actually i tried on every pair of, la pair of lashes and i was like the one that i feel like would show off this cut crease the best is in the style vixen so this is her right here i actually love this lash she is wispy just how i want it but she is a flatter type of wisp it's not as curly so it won't cover up this beautiful cut crease you feel what i mean so yes she'll be perfect with this eye look and before i actually add any lashes i'm gonna add my strawberry icing um highlighter onto my cut crease just to give it a little bit of a shimmer like pop um you can these do double s pigments even though they are highlighters so i love that about those I'm using this um, makeup brush by Makeup Revolution, I believe it's from, and we're just going to pick this right on up and apply it right onto the eye. I'm literally just patting it in. It's not like a, you know, anything specific, anything crazy. I just want to add a little bit of pop to this eye on this yellow. And right in this inner corner, I'm just dragging it down. So it just touches the inner corner right into the yellow. Ooh, it's just popping it just how I wanted it to. And I'm not going to drag it all the way out to the end of the blend, but definitely into this greenish blue area. Stopping right there. Oh yeah, that has to happen. A little bit of shimmer. Okay, now that I look like a freaking princess, um, <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of my strawberry icing highlighter, whatever is just in the cap, not much. That's all you need, baby. You don't need much. You're going to be shining bright like a freaking diamond, especially in the low light vids because that's what we want to see, feel me? So I'm excited, guys. I actually love this look. I'm going to take my lip pencil out of my Beast by Deb Cosmetics lip collection and I'm gonna take the shade Spice. I'm going all the way around my lips and then I'm gonna be using my beautiful friend Mulan Cosmetics, her new cosmetics line. They She sells lip glosses. Um, I'm gonna be using her lip gloss to finish off this lip. I'm not sure which one but whatever one I use I'll definitely link it below. wait 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 because sis didn't tell me that they smell like hold on this one that one this is called salted caramel why did i say it like that who, who do i think i am oh my god salted caramel <laughs> this one is called creamsicle no way they freaking smell oh my god they smell like what the name is queen libra does this have a smell oh my god this smells so good stop Stop, baby. Stop. Prissy. 
Ooh. Oh my God, they smell freaking amazing. F-boy tears, you see that? Because we don't care about those, period. Ooh, and that one's just like mint. Okay, I'm gonna have to use salted caramel because I just like, baby, she just smells too good not to use. Like, I can't even cap to you. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I love me like a thinner gloss. Oh my God, it's so creamy. Oh baby, you did that. Oh my God, I, like this is such a thick, nice consistency gloss, but it's not sticky. Like, bomb sis, you did that. What the heck? New fake gloss, like quit playing with her. Yes, my loves, I had to just do another blend with my beautiful baby. You know they're gonna keep coming, you feel me? Like my palette's unmatched, I can't even cap. Everybody who's had it, I mean nothing but great reviews. I love seeing y'all looks, I love seeing you guys' reviews. I cannot wait to see what you all create. So let me know if y'all did this look with me. I wanna see, tag me on the gram, you already know what to do. And again, if you didn't get her, baby, I know you want her now. You feel me? Like, it's just off the swatches alone, I know y'all are, like, in love, period. <laughs> but I love y'all so much. Let's get into these low light videos, okay? You already know what's coming at the end. I love y'all so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I got two more videos on the way this week, so stay tuned. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Let's get into these low lights.